This week, the Baltimore community, and specifically the Russian community, the Russian Jewish community, suffered a tragic loss of Mrs. Rachel Canterman. This is a woman who, as a teenager, back in Kishinev, dedicated her life to live her life in total devotion to Hashem and the Jewish people, which she did for the balance of her life till she passed away this week at the age of 38. There were many people of our community that got together and prayed for her. They prayed for her. Many people were praying for her. In private, there were public gatherings, people who didn't know her, who were aware of the situation, and I'm concerned that people might think that did we daven and say those to Hillim in vain? Did we gain anything by it? Was anything better for, for Rachel? There really are many answers to this question, and certainly it was not in vain. I want to go in one direction in demonstrating that it was absolutely not in vain. There was nothing at all that was lost, and it was 100% accomplished. But to do that, I think it's important to appreciate what the function of prayer is. What do we want to gain by what do we want to gain by by davening? So to do that, I'm going to make a parallel that my wife and I, one summer when all the kids were out of town, were in camp, and it was just myself and my wife, and we decided we'll go for a ride, just to enjoy each other's company. So we got into the car and we just drove down on eighty on ninety five north. After traveling around an hour, I said, you know. Once we're traveling already, let's go to New York. Our relatives in New York will be tickled pink by our visit, and we'll just turn around and head back. We had the time, we enjoyed the company, and by the time we got to the Verrazano, by um, the Gothels Bridge, there was so much traffic in both directions that we were told that's going to be a total of five hours delay, two and a half hours in, two and a half hours out. So we looked at each other and said, doesn't make sense, let's head back to Baltimore. And we went back to Baltimore, and we had a very enjoyable time. This story would be very different if we had been heading into New York for a wedding. And we had to be there, and we had to show our faces and be there for part of the wedding, and it would be total frustration. But it wasn't, because that's not what we went for. We went for the ride. In prayer, the Jewish approach to prayer is that we don't pray for our needs. The function of prayer is not to get our needs, but rather the function of our needs is to get us to pray. Praying is a intimate moment that we spend with Hashem. And the greater our need is, and the more we recognize that Hashem is the only address that we can turn to, we begin to feel very close to Him because He's always there. The relationship that we have with Hashem is the same as our relationship is to Him, is His relationship to us. And as we draw ourselves near to Him, because of our need, it's because of our need, but we draw ourselves close to Him because we feel and recognize that need, and He's the only address that can, that can answer it. We become close to Him. And that remained. One of the meetings was, there were around 30 women, Many of them did not know Rachel. Many of them were new to the concept of prayer, or at least in a formal setting, and we all prayed together. It was a remarkable experience. Anyone there knew that Hashem was there as well. So the answer is yes, nothing was lost. We brought Hashem closer to us. And who knows what benefit it was to Rachel. She was able to be at the bar mitzvah of her son. And what chizuk it gave, what strength and support it gave to the family. And we don't know how it's going to play itself out from here on. But most important is that we became closer to Hashem. If Hashem is close to us, then only good will, will result from it. So I want to thank all those who davened for Rachel, 
and all those who didn't who didn't know about Rachel, but who can appreciate this lesson, and we should know that Hashem is always with us, and the more we turn to Him, and the more we recognize that we need Him, He will turn to us, and the closer we will become. Have a good Shabbos.